So my today's talk is going to be on uh, cloud security. Uh, this is a tool which uh, me and Jayesh has written. And basically what it does is, uh, you know, auditing AWS, uh, GCP and Azure in one single tool. Uh, talking about myself, uh, I am now a senior security engineer. I have been working as a DevOps engineer uh, the past uh, two years. Uh, I'm the active uh, member of the Mindgrow chapter as well, and I like researching on any topic. Uh, so the first thing, uh, why you know AWS, GCP, or as you might not, you know, DigitalOcean or Alibaba Cloud. Obviously, we know that uh, the major market share goes to these three clouds, uh, and they three are the leaders. And what is basically the problem which we face here in the cloud? You know, like what is what is from the security perspective? What is that we need, need to look on that? Uh, so the many, uh, you know, the lot of uh, misconfigurations which happen is uh, needs to be rectified. Uh, you know, even the uh, we have been seeing cases, you know, where the NSA had open buckets and they had the private information. Same thing with that since recently. Uh, vulnerable services, or if you have any ports open. And there are you know ten lot of services in AWS. So how do we you know keep hold on that? Uh, it can be misconfigured and it can go for a toss. The whole environment can go for a toss. Now talking like uh, why is this? You know how how can this go for a toss? Like what I mean is like how how having a misconfiguration can screw you up. Uh, I have a couple of examples. Uh, so with an S3 bucket. So we think like if it's not public, it's fine. Uh, you're not defined, you're given it public, it's okay. And you know, so what is the another part too is that if you have given a bucket policy, right bucket policy to the bucket, with just one single command, you can basically gain access over the whole bucket. Uh, this was this was basically done by France and his blog. I have the command as well. I just want to show it to you guys. Uh, so basically, this is the command. Uh, let me zoom. So if if the bucket policy, I'm not talking about whether it's public or not. If the bucket policy has been given, you know, uh, given as read to all or uh, write to all. So with this, just uh, you know, this is the bucket name, and if you have this bucket name. Uh, grant full control and your email address, which you have used to open the AWS account, you basically gain the complete access for that uh, bucket, and you can do basically anything after that. Also, you know there are you know I had uh, a word with uh, uh, Randall Robin. He was on Twitter with that. He says he has written over you know thirty thousand uh, buckets which are you know publicly open. Uh, he has you know he has a POC .txt. Saying that you need to fix it, so that is you know that is what we are currently looking at. The second case which I want to say is like how again it can go for a toss. Let's assume that a attacker has gone a shell over your over your machine. So what what do you think? Basically, it's fine. Okay, like maximum what he can access is uh, the data on that, or probably the database he can access. But if that Machine is associated with an IAM role. So IAM role can basically do a lot of things. That machine has can launch servers, as many servers as you want. And if, so what I mean to say is that if an attacker gets to a if an attacker gets a control to a machine which has an IAM role, and that IAM role can basically do anything. So this this can again, you know, he can terminate all the servers. The attacker can terminate all the servers. It's not you're not just giving access, the attacker has not gained control over just one machine. He has gained access to your entire environment and your entire environment can go down provided that IAM rule has certain permissions. Also another example which I want to would like to give is like the involvement between DevOps and Dev. Uh, so what the Dev guys usually do is that you know they, they, they ask the DevOps people to spin up some servers and we basically assume that the server is going to be up and the devs guys, they don't inform us, you know, that it has to be stopped now. And again, you know, Mongo breaches, data breaches, and every kind of that stuff. 
So it's not just auditing, it's, uh, I just wanted to show the other side in which how dangerous it can be any uh, misconfiguration. Again, I had an, uh, another example is in which Kinesis, AW Kinesis, uh, that is basically a Kafka service. And even if that is public, you basically, whatever you are passing through that Kafka node, I can, you know, get all the access over all that data. So this configuration here is a, you know, big deal. If you are configured it rightly, then we assume that we are pretty strong on that. So how, how, how can this be problem solved? So obviously the first thing is either you get a third party service and, you know, tell them, you provide them your AW keys and give them the read keys, etc, etc. Uh, so, and again, you have to give a lot of money to them. So what we wanted to do is, you know, have a solution, an open source solution in which all of this, you know, most of the configuration at least part is fixed. So what did we do? What did we actually do? So we looked out on the best uh, cloud uh, uh, open source tools which are there. Scout2 is from the NCC group and uh, Lunar is basically for the local audit. and GScout is again from the NCC group. So we basically merged all this and we saw the differences out of that and what all was missing, we, we basically wrote it ourselves. So this is CSO is basically an aggregation not only on just on AWS, it's also on you know, Azure and GCP as well. So what, what it does is basically, uh, so before you know, uh, before actually getting more deeper into it, uh, deeper into it I just want to you know, uh, show the demo itself. So that we have the you know script running. So this is uh, you just need to do an AWS configure and what you need is only uh, read keys, nothing more than that. And this is the command. Uh, so this this is the one one line command which will basically audit your whole infrastructure. So I'm just going to run this and go to my sites. So what does this does is you know basically it does all the public checks whatever is there any combination you know which has you know probably any misconfiguration any chance in which an attacker could get them to or we are going to check for that and you know basically you know, throw out all the you know uh, checks whatever is there it runs in one go you can basically uh, and basically I'm not connected to you know the AWS instance I think this is this is what I'm running from my local so this you don't have to go to the AWS and 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 there's an HTML report which would automatically open into your browser. Uh, so the same thing is with GCP. Uh, currently, I'm showing you with the AWS, and we also have the same with Azure as well. Uh, so again, uh, talking about the integration, we again thought that uh, trusted advising something being good by AWS. So we again wanted that to be you know into CSU because you know uh, we guys like we thought of why go to trusted advising. Let's have everything in one place. And the result is uh, again in the JSON output, so you can basically a uh, proper JSON output, you can do anything with that, with output. So, uh, okay, so the next part is Azure. Uh, I will actually, I mean, okay, let's, let's wait. I'll jump on to Azure part, uh, we'll wait for the AWS result to come through there. So, uh, in Azure, so what is Azure? We see that uh, the open source only tool to now is uh, Azure Card. That's again by NCC group. Uh, so we wanted to, you know, basically have a CIS benchmarks uh, for the Azure audit as well. Uh, so what we did was basically there are 50, 57 or 58 checks. So we got that implemented. So now the first case is, you know, if, let's assume that you have uh, you have uh, leaked your keys, and basically the Microsoft Security Center alerts you about that. And if you have not, you know, sent an email. To that you will never get that email, so you would basically not know that what is happening to your server. So that is you know that kind of checks, that kind of audit. And if there is you know SQL audit policy is missing, or if there is any kind of you know um, public access to any of the security group, the same thing it does is basically around some fifty checks which you have implemented. Uh, so again, that is the same thing. Uh, what what we just need to do is uh, uh, AW uh, Python. Uh, Python CS.py and then we should be as well. So what it does is basically just asks for your, this is a browser based uh, authentication. Anyone any has any doubts? Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, I'm just waiting for this to get in. Okay, so now, uh, now talking about the local audit as well, we have something called as the local audit. So what, what, what the local audit does is that once you know your server is you know not proper or it's not running a proper service or any kind of that thing. So what we basically do is you can have Okay, uh, you can have basically an IP audit, you just pass in the local uh, IP audit. So the point is you run it from your local. You run it from your local machine and then what it does is it goes to that server, does an SCP, does a, a line is check and brings out all the report to you in the HTML format. Uh, I also have basically uh, a video with me. Because this is taking time, I just want to show it to you. Just for me guys, this is where I'm like, I'm not sure like, we're getting such a long time. Parallelly what I can do is, you know, basically start with, okay, let me just go to the directory report, so that we don't have to wait for all this. So I'm just going to show you the report. So this is, this is how the report basically would be shown at the end. So we have these top two results first and okay, what's happening? Yeah, so this is how the report would basically look. Uh, so we have, you know, all these services which I said uh, like Lambda, if there's anything wrong in the your cloud rate, or if there's anything wrong in the EC2 or your EAD, whether there are weak cycles supported into that, I am those. Again, that is really important. If you are giving, you know, some goals to uh, test or probably someone from the QA from a lot of goals, any RDS service which is, you know, running with public RDS. So this is just basically an aggregation. So this is just one part. And if there's any VPC which has been wrongly configured, so it shows me that. Again, talking with that, I just want to show with the S3 part. So that comes as a database, okay, storage, S3, dashboard. So again, yeah, so this, this was the part where I was saying that if there's any, you know, uh, public, uh, if you have given a bucket policy, which has been given a live policy to all the users, so basically you can gain access over that bucket. Uh, so this is just one part of it. Again, coming to the taller part. So this is basically only the CI. Where you know, uh, ensure so this is basically all the CIS benchmarks where we have all this and this is shown to you. And again, the trusted advisor part where they said, you know, if there's anything wrong with that, this all aggregated to an HTML. And same thing with you know, any uh, uh, SNS, SES, or on EC2, everything. So this is this is all the basically the report is. 
Um, yeah, so is there anything else? I can show a visual demo as well uh, if anybody has any doubt you know, on this. So this is how basically that uh, Azure thing runs. I just did a Python series on PY hyphen env uh, Azure and then basically I just you know get into that and basically it, what it does is that it tells me that I've logged in and it starts with all the certain checks and it does basically everything any misconfiguration from your end and it just checks that. Yeah, I think so. I don't have anything else to say. I mean, this will take time, so five minutes. Then I'm done. You're all done? Yeah. All right. That was quick. <laughs> Man, you traveled all the way from India to show us this for a couple of minutes and have a drink. Thank you. Thank you so much. So leaving, I would really you know, like to thank you for the organization uh, because you know it was really hard and I uh, you know just got, got like I reached the third Philippines at one o'clock and basically you know they did everything and so special thanks to Ella. You know, she was the one who did a lot of things. Round of applause. <laughs> or we are very happy.